Security officials in Buhari's government worried over Biden's victory. Well, why are they worried? What is their business in the victory of Biden? Have they done anything bad in the government that they know that Biden will surely come after them? Or oh, is there anything that we, you know, make bidding to you know prosecute them or do something uh to them well let's get to the root and the bottom of what is going on a journalist with a wall street journal joe parkinson has stated the certain key officers within Mohammed Buhari's administration are worried over Joe Biden's emergence as the President of the United States in the just concluded election. Pakistan is in a series of tweets on Sunday disclosed that the officers concerned are linked to cases of human rights and such protests and weapon sales. Nigeria's president was one of the first Ameri African leaders who to congratulate Biden, but privately, some of his key advisors were hoping for a Trump victory and, and are worried. The reasons are quite simple and are linked. Human rights, the answers protests, and sale weapon sales. This photo was taken when Washington, in Washington, rather, in 2015, when Buari was toast to of the town. The old generals, Neil Broom, would sweep away corruption and, far more important to U.S., beat back BH. It was Biden who actually greeted uh, Buari at the White House that day before he was he met uh, Obama in those in those meetings Obama promised Nigeria a, to a bunch of fresh military aid to fight the war and find the cheapest girls some was made public much is much of it not but the US stopped short of giving the Nigerians what they really wanted, attack aircraft, U.S. human, I mean, because of human rights concern. It was the Trump administration considerably less bordered by human rights issue who agreed to set super to, to canoes for $600 million and later attack helicopter that Nigeria has long hoped would be the game changer in the fight against the BH. That sale, why most paid for, why most paid for, is not yet complete. Ironically, senior State Department officials were staying at the Abuja Hilton in October to finalize the details. Why answers protesters were on the street in Nigeria cities. The and therein lies the problem for Buari. The bidding campaign released a statement two days before the Trump administration after the military cracked down at Lekki to get it went much further saying the US must stand with Nigerians who are peaceful demonstrate demonstrating. The headed the heady days of of twenty fifteen when Buari was seen by Obama and Biden as the man who would fight a quick and victorious war against the BH are long gone. The war has ma has metastasized North East Nigeria has become the base of one of Islamic State's most successful region regional franchises is WAP. So President Biden may be much less welcoming to Buhari, much more skeptical about selling weapons to Nigerian military, and much more forthright to criticizing any crackdown on the protest. That's why despite the tweet, some 
at the top of the Buaris administration are nervous. Why are they nervous and why are they scared? Why would they be scared? Me, to me, I think they should be happy because uh, they, they've already known uh, Trump to be a tough person. And uh, this new man might be a, a better person for them. So why would they be worried? Uh, we, there was a report that uh, Donald Trump refused to endorse uh, our own person, our woman, uh, Kunjo Iwala refused to be endorsed by uh, Trump. But now, we hope Biden will endorse her and she will be made the world, the eighth, rather, eighth director general of the World Trade Organization. Uh, well, and uh, we hope we'll be able to actualize it. And they, I don't think they should be worried again. They should have anything to be worried about. They don't need them to be worried. What is their own headache? If Biden decides to come and fight for them in Nigeria, why not? He's welcome. Why would they be worried? If he wants to sell weapons to them, they should accept it. Why are they not worried? They should be happy. To me, they should be happy and do, do not have anything to be worried about. But let's see, is it true that they are worried or not? And why are they even worried? Sales of a uh, weapon. That means there is a cockroach in their cupboard. And, uh, you know, the hands are uh, protests in Nigeria. Maybe they are worried that a uh, bidding will dig deep to the matter and fish all the government officials out. And fish them out to get who are the sponsors of the uh, hoodlums who are attacking the, the answers, the peaceful answers protesters. Now, this one is saying, which president are you talking about? Because Nigeria did not have a president for long. You know, the president died in 2017. People are just being afraid of, you know, truth. Well, this one is saying that we shouldn't be worried because there is no president in Nigeria uh, who we now who is now the president of Nigeria that we are referring to. Let's know. This one is saying why won't they be worried? They think America will sell weapon to a genocide government to murder its own citizen. Wow. So we are not straightforward in Nigeria. That is the meaning. We are not straightforward. Once this weapon are sold to them, they can even use it against them. Look at what happened at our Lake Tugit in Lagos, General. In Lagos, at Lake Tugit, most especially, for example, look at what happened there. These people, these uh, are looters, these thieves, these are. Uh, uh, killers actually have sponsors. Even the BH, the terrorists in the country, actually have uh, sponsors. They have sponsors. I think that is why they are scared of this bidding. Maybe he will fish them out. And those that are giving them weapons will be fished out as well. Well, let's you know your thoughts, your views, and your opinions on this news story. Thank you, and I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.